All right, guys. Um, so we have a leucistic collared peccary right here. He is not going to be able to make gold, so I'm not too worried about taking a strange shot on him if we get the chance. Um, but, uh, come on, dude. Please. Just like that, he is down. Awesome. Let's go. I want to check some of these other ones, too. And make sure we're not, like, missing out on a five or something. There's so many of them. I'm out here on multiplayer right now. Um, my internet has finally started doing its job again. And, um, finally was able to play some multiplayer. And, for whatever reason, on a high-level server, this lake had not gotten checked. Um, so yeah, I mean, Lucistic's pretty cool. I think it's the most common of the rare peccary but I mean I will take it that is still pretty awesome not seeing any that look all too big so I don't know um, I don't think there would be any more of there but uh, yeah that is pretty crazy I tell you this is one of the craziest zones on the whole map and I just love coming to this spot I've checked it on my own map nothing super huge but uh, a couple decent ones but uh, yeah let's go on ahead and grab that leucistic so this should be my first rare peccary all right and here's our peccary let's see leucistic level 3 male peccary not half bad take that all day long bummer he didn't make gold but oh my gosh no way we got the heart shot on that it was like a Texas heart shot near about wow okay well that is pretty darn awesome. Let's go, guys. That is great. All right, guys. So I came out here and checked the really good mule deer spot on my map. And we have a little highballed doe. So I thought we might go ahead and take her. And that should bring her down. I don't think we had any really big mule deer on this part of the zone. Um, it looks like there's just a couple of regular mule deer. I'm not seeing anything too special. So, yeah, let's go grab her. Alright, guys, and here's our little piebald. Let's go on ahead and praise Chase. And then let's claim it. It's just a little piebald doe. Nothing super special, but that is still pretty cool. Uh, it's first one of these I've seen in quite a while, actually, so... I mean, nothing too crazy, but I will definitely take it. Let's go. All right, guys. So, I do not believe this. This is my own map, and I have a second albino coyote. This one is a male. Holy smokes. No way. Okay, just running along down here in the south, and I see something white. I was hoping it was going to be a rabbit there for a minute. And, um, this guy would just... Give me a shot. I'm gonna take it. And I think we messed that up. But if he'll slow down for two seconds, maybe, I might can get another shot at him. Come on, buddy. Yeah, nah. But he is gonna go down. Since he's just a five, I'm not too worried about the score. Um, that doesn't mean as much to me just because he's so little. But, uh,. I'd like to see, I did see a pheasant running right there. Just a little guy though, tiny little level one. That's actually what I was out here looking for in the first place. But uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Two rare coyotes on my map. All right, and Chase has found our coyote. Let's go and praise him. And then let's see. Oh, we were so close to making that shot. We were just a little too high. Wow, but that is so cool. Our second albino coyote, and this one is actually a male. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Let's go, guys. Well, guys, I have finally started to do it. I am now setting up for the Great One Grind. Um, setting up this lake right now. I already have this lake set, this lake, and this lake. I'm not going to grind this little lake out here. And I still need to set up this lake over here. But on here at this lake we have our first level three 
found this guy as I was setting up. I mean, that is, I think, a guaranteed diamond. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put our tripod down. This should not spook them. Um, if the dog would mind moving. Thank you. Just like that. And go on ahead and hop up here. Because whenever you put up tripods, it doesn't seem to spook deer for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I guess we're going to try and get maybe that guy over there. Or actually, no, that's a buck right there. We're going to shoot this guy. Oh, he has two different racks, I think. But, uh... Go ahead and shoot him and get his friend. Awesome. Um, I'm probably going to put a tent down right over here. But uh, yeah, it's a big three. Let's go see how big he is. Alright guys, and here are the white tail. That's a pretty big guy. I'm thinking low 260s, upper 250s. But here's our level one. And that is a big guy right there. I think he has two different racks though. I think he has like one half big rack, one half medium rack. So I don't know. Let's see. And 268 diamond white tail. Oh, wow. And yeah, he does have two different racks. So the left side is like the really big rack, like the one that scores like in the 270s. And then the rack on the right is um, like the 260 scoring rack. But yeah, that is pretty awesome. Let's go, guys. That's my first diamond white tail since last November, okay? It's been a long time. So yeah, I mean, we haven't even really started grinding yet. We're just setting up right now. But uh, yeah, that is awesome. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, so we have another Diamond Potential Whitetail. This one's just a level two, but he is a big level two. So we're gonna go ahead and take him out. And I think it's a pretty small zone over there. Um just like two or three bucks so I'm probably not gonna grind it but uh yeah I mean that is a big white tail so let's go see how big he is all right and here he is I'm actually just curious that's actually a big horn zone what the okay I think there's only like two bucks here though let's see and just a gold 245 but that is a nice buck no doubt about it that is a really nice buck I think that's my second best one next to the diamond so yeah i will definitely take that that is a really awesome book let's go